Hello everyone, this is Helen from Vivina. In this video, I will show you how to assemble our 50 kilowatt hour battery module kit in the original Nissan EMV 200 battery case. Total four big modules for the Nissan EMV 200. Module A, Module B, Module C, and Module D. This is the original Nissan EMV 200 battery case. You need to keep the original rename module and the fan here. When you dismantle the old modules, please keep this. These are all the accessories which we will use later. This is the original cooling duct. Okay, let's start the working now. First, install the spacer for module C. Install the BMS bracket to module C first. Use a small spanner here to fix it. Now module C is on the gantry. Install module C. Put the three spacers down to install module D. Now module D is on the gantry. Install module D. Fix module C. For all the installation, please use a manual wrench. Put the long screws down to fix module D. Fix the back side of module D. Tighten the screws. Mark on the screws that we just tightened well. Module B is on the gantry. Install module B. We had to remove the fixing columns here. For your installation, don't need to remove it. You can keep it. Module A is on the gantry. Install module A. Install the module A and B single harness plug to BMS. Plug in the buckles, connect the module A and B to the module A and B single harness plug to BMS. Install the temperature sensor. There are four temperatures. Fix the temperature sensor. Connect the harness between module C and D. Fix the module A and B.
because we had removed the fixing column here, so we cannot further fix the screws here. But for your installation, since the columns are still kept, so you also need to fix the screws here. Install the C positive to BDU positive power cable now. Use the 10 mm wrench. Only use the manual wrench. Then connect to the other end. Use a small spanner here to further fix the screws. Now connect the B negative to BDU negative power cable. Before installing this cable, we'll need to first install the current sensor to it. This is the original current sensor. Install the original current sensor. Wrap the heat shrink tube. Use a hot air gun. Add more insulation to the current sensor with the bellows. Wrap some insulation tape on the bellows. Now install the B negative to BDU negative power cable. Only use the manual wrench. No electric wrenches can be used. Now connect to the other end. All the torque setting is 8.8. .8. Remember to mark on the screws after you tighten the well. Cover the lid. Organize this power cable more nearer to module A to make more room for the cooling duct later. Plug this buckle from the original car signal harness to the current sensor now. Install the bracket for the service plug. First, install this screw to fix the bracket. Install the D negative to service plug power cable now. Please pay attention to the installing direction as this. Connect the A positive to service plug power cable now. Please pay attention. The two cables connect to the service plug should be in this direction. This cable is A positive to the service plug. This cable is the D negative to service plug. Plug in this buckle from the original car single harness to the service plug. These are the screws for heightening the service plug. As our 50 kilowatt hour battery need to add a height by 1.5 cm, so the service plug also need to be heightened. Before fixing the service plug, need to first fix the screws for the bracket at the bottom. Now fix the service plug.
Now connect the other end of the power cable that comes from the service pack to A positive. Now connect the other end of the power cable that comes from the service pack to D negative. Install the C negative to D positive copper bar. Install the A negative to B positive copper bar. Measure the voltage between the service plug to the relay module. The value is normal. Now change to measure the other side of the service plug to the relay module. This side is also okay because it's connected to the BDU. Measure the insulation value between the service plug to the ground. The value is normal. Now change to measure the other side of the service plug to the ground. Install the BMS. All the plugs comes from our modules are plugged at the bottom. This cable is from the original and is plugged at the side. Plug in the temperature sensor. Organize the cables. Install the original cooling duct. Use the OBD2 battery to read the battery performance now. As we are using a testing BMS only, so we can check the voltage and the voltage difference temperatures. The voltage is 399 volts. Voltage difference is 11 millivolts. The temperatures, these data are normal. Now all the assembly has been completed. This battery pack can be loaded into the vehicle and uh, arrange the test now.